Hello, Perugi here. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to manage uh, your design team uh, efficiently. Now, I myself have been a UI UX designer for the past uh, 10 years, uh, and uh, I worked uh, both solo and also managing uh, design teams uh, and worked within uh, design teams of uh, small and uh, also large enterprises. So I have an understanding from both uh, sides of the spectrum. And uh, the very first thing that uh, I'd like to communicate is that there isn't a one size fits all solution. So it's really going to depend on the project and also on the team and who are the individuals and the team members involved in that specific project. Now, that being said, one thing which has proven to be a very useful thing is to have strong workflows. Uh, which are going to be structured in a way that I'm going to discuss in this video. So usually when it comes to the workflows, it's really important to have a strong project management tool. And uh, there are so many out there. Uh, I tried uh, pretty much uh, all of the major ones, uh, Asana, ClickUp, uh, Monday.com. Uh, uh, I used G Jira a lot. Uh, but in recent years, uh, the one which uh, I like the most uh, and that, that I think is the most efficient when it comes to design and development, uh, especially for sprints, uh, is uh, Trello. And uh, the reason why I really like it is the simplicity of the software. So essentially the way that I usually develop uh, and divide uh, the design project uh, is into three main sections, uh, the tasks uh, or the list of things that need to be done, uh, which is going to be in the to-do column. Then uh, in uh, the other column, we're going to have the active requests. Uh, and then uh, right afterwards, we're going to have uh, an archive of everything which uh, has been done in that uh, specific design project. Now, again, this is not a one size fits all and it really depends on the design project which you're tackling, but uh, this has proven to be a very straightforward and efficient uh, resource, especially when it comes to uh, things like having all the brand assets in one section or making sure that the communication is really tailored to that specific part of uh, the project. So definitely I would recommend you to check it out and see if it works for your specific needs. And that is an overview of the project management uh, tool. Now, on top of that, communication is a fundamental and crucial part in every design project and especially when working within teams. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I really like to heavily integrate Loom videos within the design process uh, and uh, you can use Loom as well as any third party uh, service which offers uh, pretty much uh, uh, the same things. And one of the reasons why I like uh, video recording so much uh, is uh, because you essentially don't need to schedule everybody's time to hop on a call to discuss a series of points. They can also be rewatched multiple times. So if something is not clear, you can go back to that video. And it's really helpful, especially for documentation and for things which are more complex. So Loom videos can really be useful and um, also they can be stored and you can rewatch them even weeks or months later and anybody who might not have been uh, able to join a specific meeting can watch a loom video so it's really helpful for communication it saves a lot of time and it has uh, almost all of the benefits of, of hopping on a one-on-one -on -one call without uh, all of the drawbacks. So I always like to integrate uh, Loom videos within uh, the design workflow. And then of course, uh, text messaging whenever something can be conveyed uh, quickly and uh, doesn't need uh, too much articulation. And then when it comes uh, to calls, uh, because of course, uh, I understand that there is a time and a place also for one-on-one uh, -on -one calls or meeting calls. Uh, I always like to structure them in a very purposeful way. And by that, uh, I refer to the fact that uh, before having a call, I always want to have uh, a bullet list of uh, the items that we're going to discuss uh, on the call. And if I want to go even further, probably 
asking for a time frame that we want to discuss. So for example, this item might take between five and 10 minutes. This other item might be a half an hour ago. And this is really helpful to manage expectations and not to dilute the time and the focus during the calls so that each and every call is going to be really focused and uh, we can identify exactly what we're going to talk about, uh, what are the goals and how we can overcome that specific problem. So this uh, is from a high level, the way that I like to structure the communication and uh, looping uh, in to the communication part. Another really important uh, element of the design process is uh, collaboration because uh, that's uh, actually one of the reasons why I love uh, Figma so much because it enables uh, you to collaborate uh, remotely or even in a house uh, with other designers, developers, stakeholders or, or any team member really in a very efficient way since uh, anyone can uh, hop on a link of Figma. They don't need to download the software in their computer since uh, it's uh, uh, available also uh, on the web. So really easy to use, really easy to have a bird's eye perspective of the entire project. And uh, on top of that, another thing which I'm uh, quite uh, strict about is to only leave comments in Figma, uh, especially for certain types of projects. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because a lot of the times, uh, clients uh, might uh, send you an email with uh, uh, a request for a specific uh, uh, design tweak and um, say that you're actually trying to communicate that you want to do you want to change the headers logo to another one um, in the email you have to write a long text form such as in the top header of uh, X page, could you make uh, this uh, change and make it from this to this? Well, in Figma, it's uh, much faster to communicate this because you can simply leave a comment and uh, say, change this to this. So you don't need to communicate uh, the area and uh, in, in which you want that uh, change to be made. And this might seem like a small thing, but trust me, it uh, all adds up uh, and uh, it can really be helpful for not uh, um, miscommunicating uh, certain requests uh, or suggestions which uh, you might have. Plus you have everything organized in one single space in Figma. So you have all of your comments tracked. Uh, so it's not like emails where you can uh, easily um, don't, don't find uh, like some, some previous emails, which you might have read or things just get like very heavy in the inbox and, uh, you have a lot of messages in Figma, you have everything organized in a very clear and efficient way. And, uh, essentially this uh, is, uh, um, in my personal opinion, a very easy, uh, way to structure your project. Now, on top of that, another software which I highly recommend you to check out uh, when it comes to uh, especially like brainstorming, idea generation, mind maps, uh, and uh, high level wireframes is Miro, since uh, it's an uh, uh, exceptional tool which is complementary for Figma for the phases which are prior the actual design phase. So definitely another really useful tool which enables you to have uh, easy collaboration uh, in real time, just like Figma and uh, yeah, just a, a software which I really like. So I hope uh, this video was helpful. And uh, if you need any help when it comes to managing your team or help within your design project, uh, simply uh, feel free to drop me a message or book a discovery call and uh, I'll be definitely happy to help uh, if uh, I see fit for your specific project. So this is pretty much it for the video and I'll see you in the very next one.